Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and those that love sound, it's a very special sound day today because it's one track, one library featuring the one and only Faceplant. Um, so, Killer Hearts Faceplant. <laughs> Makes me smile. What can I say in introduction to this phenomenal synth? Yeah, it's, it's just... Um, uh, it, it, it's, it's just so good. It's brilliant. It's great. You can do anything. I mean, superlatives don't, don't begin to cover this, this thing. When I was playing with it, and I was a bit lost for words, really, I thought, well, everything I've wanted to do on something else, I've want, I, I can do. Plus, it sounds amazing. Um, anyway, so me being me, I've written a track as it's one track, one library. And I've used a picture as an inspiration. This is the picture. So it's a sort of modern, punky, psychedelic, techno warrior person that's slightly menacing, but very cool and very techno. <laughs> I'm just using words one after the other. My, my English grammar syntax is not very up to scratch today. So for those that want to hear the full track and what I did with this amazing synth, uh, just go to the minutes and seconds down below, full track, and you will hear the piece to that picture, uh, whatever you like to call it. It's sort of psychedelic coolness. Yeah. But for those sticking around, I will show you just literally scratching the surface of what you can do with this, and I'll show you how I've used it in the track. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is, uh, I love it, Faceplant. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is Faceplant. Uh, I, look, I know I'm a latecomer to this, and I know there are already 1,001 videos on this, but um, uh, I'm in love with this, so um, I thought uh, I would do this. Now, uh, look at this. It's resizable. Oh, makes me very, very happy. So first things first, when you get a new synth, what do you do? You go to presets and you see what it sounds like. Now, um, there are different subscription models for this um, uh, thing. But I've been incredibly lucky enough that I have been allowed to play with absolutely everything. Killer Hearts, thank you for letting me play. Um, so uh, let's see what it sounds like. There are already some sound bugs that I've played with uh, from other developers, namely Man Makes Noise, link above, um, including Forks and Face Freak here. But uh, let's start with Animus. Uh, so sort of cinematic-y thing. Let's just play the first one. Artiful Unintelligence. <laughs> Beyond the Stars Major. Mod Wheel and Tremolo. Me like! Right, uh, I'm, look, I'm not going to spend long on this. Heart and mind. Look, pretty. I do like that. Okay, um, invaders. Oh, incidentally, invaders, hello, look. Phase invaders, click to start. I mean, you can play. <laughs> Sorry, that just made... <laughs> Made me laugh. Um, anyway, um, uh, on the edge. Look at that. Wave tables. Lots of them. Mod wheel. Yeah. So, uh, I'll just play you. Uh, let's go for suspension. You get uh, pads, keys. I'll go for a couple of these. By the way, I favorited these, the ones I've hearted. Epic three. So look, you've got so many presets, um, hardwire, pads, spheres. Cool. Now the very cool thing is that if you look at these, the hashtags, just go to one of them or FM or let's go FM and it, and it'll search results. And it gives you all of these, which are FM synthesis. I mean, I love that. Sing plant. Go 
Again, if you like that and you want, I don't know, uh, vocal, go to vocal hashtag, you get more vocals. I mean, isn't that cool? Pad, creepy, ghost in the tape machine. Uh, he doesn't smell very good, Swamp Lord. <laughs> That's funny. From an author must die. So go to the author. Let's go for all of his must dies. I like him. Tired and true. Oh. That's my kind. Okay, nasty sign. <laughs> it's even called it. Oh. Right, I like must die. Okay, so again, you've got uh, um, menus here. You can go keys this way. You get all the keys, you get plucks this way, uh, delicacy. So, you go, go to this and look how pretty it is. Good, now if that looks daunting, trust me, it might look daunting, but um, if they've made it as intelligently as they have, that I can figure it out, so can you. So, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. So, new, this is what you get. These are your generators. You can have as many noise generators as you like. I mean, that's insane. Most synths have two, three, four. But you could have 10. If your computer could handle it, you could have 10. The, these are your FX lanes, and this is your modulation. It even says modulators, look. Generators, effects, modulators. Right, let me just show you how you can do that. So I'm going to just choose roll. Let's just choose an analog. So difference. Okay, I want something fuller than that. So let's get unison. Let's detune it. Let's sync it up. Isn't that cool? Spread it wide. Right, this is your envelope. This is, your, this is as it were your output. Look how, how it roots itself. That's, isn't that clever? I want a slightly longer release. Yeah? And then double click another one. I want a noise. So now look, there's no rooting. See the arrow? Isn't that clever? But you have to move it. Just move it there. And it's already there. Oh, that's loud. By the way, random and stable. Stable is every time you hit it. It's the same noise, random. It changes a bit. Yeah, isn't that cool? So I'm gonna keep that in. Level, volume, there we go. Um, put that back on. Let's turn it down a bit. Let's have another one. Why not? Um, okay, wavetable. So again, you have to move it. Let's put it before the noise. So. Let's turn. Let's get rid of the noise. Look at all these wavetables. I mean, uh, so many. I, I'm racing through it because um, this video would be hours long if I spent... I mean, I'm just... Um, you can even import your own wavetables. Look, users. <laughs> I mean, isn't it cool? Now, see this little green thing? So this is audio rate modulation. Um, I haven't even talked about the modulation, but you can click on it and assign it to any one of these. So I don't know. Let's go for uh, the pitch, which is this. And you've got in the modulation... Uh, then <laughs> I'm going to, I don't know, pitch it to uh, this one. Okay, so uh, that's already got weird. Um, uh, I want to pitch it all down. So look, these these are your pitches is here. These are your pit. So these are your pitches here. So you can either go. All the way down that way. All the way down that way. So look, master pitch, I want all the way down. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's let's modulate it. I mean, because you can. Okay, let's go uh, LFO. Why not? So uh, this is your LFO. You press the orange one, and it shows you what you can just assign it to. I want it to that master pitch, so I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to put up the level. Oh, I love it. Okay, I also want that to go and turn off. I want it to go to frame rate. See, it's just so cool. Right, now, look, sampler. Let's add your own, my own sample. Um, so, find a sample. Uh, my Voxu, if you remember my Voxu. Drag and drop. How easy is that? Now, one thing you must do is whatever key you've set it in is do set it, do set the root. Fortunately, my C is already there, I think. So let's play around with this. So loop. Let's start in position. Let's. Um, so this will be. I want uh, ping pong. So, uh, blend, crossfade it a bit. I mean, how nice is that? Let's, let's, um, try and wave table it. Let's try and add the wave table to it. So let's turn the level down. So let's add an LFO. And I wanted to set it to the frame. Let's go to the depth. But let's set, set from there. Sounds messy, doesn't it? But hey, uh, let's put some effects in. Uh, Transcape. So uh, let's put another LFO and assign it to the mix. Turn the mix down a bit. If I don't like it. Isn't that cool? And then, ah, oh, they put a reverb on it. Oh, oh resonator. Uh, reverb. Instant pad loveliness. Uh, yeah, let's uh, master pitch. Let's um, add also to master pitch. Quite like that.
I quite like that. <laughs> it's a fighting army of chipmunks. Anyway, um, look, hours of fun, and I, I must stop because uh, I, I wrote a track. <laughs> I need to show you it. So um, I, I haven't even spoken about the macros. You can assign macros. You've got all these global sections. Uh, also, also, you've got, um, so this is a group. You can put auxes. You can send things to aux tracks and then put those to effects. The mix, that's just everything, literally above everything, going into one mix, and you could send that. You've also got little mini... Um, little effects in here let's put a distortion in again let's um let's add it to let's put it there shall we uh, overdrive let's sign oh, and then you save it and it's just so cool um yeah, look, and you've also got a keyboard, so you know exactly what you're doing. Um, I haven't. I've I've literally barely touched the surface, and um, um, I I love it. This is like my new favourite toy. Let me show you the track. Um, so look, this is the track first of all. Um, so look, this these are all the bounces. Um, and I've written in exactly what they are. They were a lot of them were presets. A lot of them were presets that I edited. The main one that I created was just using if you know my stuff I took my violin slap and I've put it into this and I've created a reverse sort of effect like this which I quite liked um so so let me just show you what we have um, again I've color coded my stuff so blacks um my perks blues my pads uh pinks usually some sort of loops uh, reds, my bases, I uh, have a ping in blue, uh, yellows were my effects, and these are hits. Um, so, um, uh, of course we had to start with a pad, set the mood. Let's just solo these. This was my, this was my padage. Yeah. Um, and then I had my sequences, of which they were my violin slaps, and also I've written music box with um, a gate. So it was a, it was literally a music box, and I put a gate on it. That's my violin slap reversed. Sort of mystery. What is this weird person in a futuristic mask going to do? Uh, my bass. I sort of liked the wobble thing going on. So there are lots of gates. Um, I had this ping, which crisis design, I liked it. I just liked it. Sort of futuristic. Now, FX. It's sort of a nice squishy rhythm. Of course, I had some risers. Uh, these robots in disguise. Of course they are. Um, and some hits, look. You can't go wrong with a few hits. I've even put it as a final hit. Yeah? So, right at the top, my perks. So I sort of got Futuramia, Dancy, evil. <laughs> Don't know what it is. Anyway, this is what it was with my perks. In fact, this just this section. Yeah, that's that was the vibe I was going for. Anyway, right. Without further ado, um, I could go on and on about how much I love this thing. Um, I will be featuring it, I'm sure, in many more videos to come, because um, I think this is uh, one of my new favourite toys um, that won't be leaving my arsenal anytime soon. Um, so, uh, without further ado, his picture. There, there he, she is in their mask in future. Is it evil? Is it war? Is it Armageddon? I don't know, but it's all cool. It's sort of computer edgy vibe, excitement, mystery. <laughs> Pretty much any genre you like. But anyway, here it is.
Uh, phase plant. Uh, literally, what is not to love? Um, it is. It is so intelligently put together and thought out that even a, even an idiot like me can um, quickly make noise. Um, and if I can quickly make noise that's weird and puts a smile on a face, um, yeah, big thumbs up. Anyway, if you like this track, give it a like. If you like what I do, please, please, please subscribe away and you'll be notified of anything else I do in the near future. In the meantime, folks, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay well, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye.